Boom! What's going on, guys? We got Gen 1 right here. And uh, first turn, missed the Toxic. That's great. And uh, I really shouldn't have stayed in, but I was mad about the Toxic miss, so I... Uh, I got my Articuno paralyzed for stupidity. I should have gone right out to Golem, so I'm already making a mistake. Now I got to Golem, takes nothing. It's like, uh, I could have done that in the first place, but whatever. Um, I predict Eggy to come in, so I go right for a Rock Slide. It'll still be effective on Snorlax, I suppose, just not as much as EQ. And, uh, you know, in this type of meta game, you got, just got to bring in Chansey to the Gen 1 guys and smash. I get a freeze, which in Gen 1, if you're not aware, is a complete kill. Like, you can't unthaw unless they thaw you with, like, burn heal. Um, that's, that's pretty much all it's going to be. So that thing is officially dead weight, and it is fodder. And uh, at this point, I really should have switched Golem out and started amnesiaing up with Slowbro, but I don't. That's a huge mistake, so right now Golem is like 0 for 2 on being effective, and uh, what can you do? So Starmie comes in, I take the t wave or absorb t wave I should say, and I switch out immediately back to Golem because I know Snorlax is going to come in, which is fine. I'm just going to blow up on it because I can't afford him to rest, and uh, that's really going to be the best chance that I'm going to get to take care of the thing before it does that. So um, Rhydon comes in, and I, I guess I can break a sub with Blizzard, that's cool. I'm going to end up switching out to Slowbro here. He's going to be a little bit more effective. He's not going to completely die. And uh, I predict his switch there into something and be able to T-Wave a Starmie, which is fantastic. Bliss comes back in, which is going to soft boil up here just to make sure I'm topped off and good to go. And uh, I'll throw an Ice Beam on the ride on and take care of it. Unfortunately, it subs, so you know it gets a chance to switch out. But it's not. It's going to smash me for 60% before I do end up taking it out. Not too big of a deal. Um, it's... It's gone. It, you know, it hurt. Chance would be a fine. So, here's where I sacrifice my Articuno, which I, I guess on one hand, if it wasn't paralyzed, it wouldn't really be able to do anything left with the speed that it had, or with the speed he still has. So be it. Uh, I go to Zam, go right for a Psychic. That's not going to cut it. So I'm going to switch out to Chansey, dodge a T Wave, fantastic, and uh, start throwing off Toxics of my own, which is also fantastic. Um, we'll get to Toxic. A little bit later, but uh, Slowbro comes in. Slash is going to continually crit for the end of time, and uh, there's not too much I can do there considering Starmie and Slowbro are both the same stab, and that's all I have for attacks. Chansey is therefore going to come back in. Gen 1 for the win, I guess. <laughs> I'm firing off T Bolts, getting Persian a little bit down there between the poison and you know all that jazz, and uh, Slowbro is just going to have to stay in and die. He's just too slow to deal with anything at this point. Alakazam can at least come in, set up a substitute, and totally be good direct face from here. But uh, I know that there's nothing I'm going to be able to do to Alakazam, so scratch on the wrecking face and go right back to Chansey. I can take a Psychic, I get paralyzed, no big deal. I can take another! No crit, thank you. Soft boil right up. And now I can throw a T-Bolt out there trying to kill Persian. Ugh, so close, not quite good enough. I do survive the crit slash, though, as I soft boil stall, because that's what you do on Poison, folks. But unfortunately, he's got Slash, Body Slam, and Hyper Beam for the triple normal stab. Like, is that good or a bad thing in Gen 1? I don't know, but that sounds very story mode to me. Not quite sure. Obviously, Hyper Beam is epic and you have to use it, but what? T-Wave goes through sub in Gen 1, guys. Yeah. So, commence stall tactics and uh, commence scary scariness, because there's not much I can really do about that now that my freaking Toxic Staller is T-Wave with Substitute. Like, that's the point of sub, is it not? Um, also, hopefully you guys have, perhaps you guys have noticed by now, that after something is Toxic, when it switches out, it reverts to normal poison in Gen 1, which I didn't know. So all of his dudes, they keep coming back in, and now they're just regular poison, which is not helpful, instead of Toxic. And... Substitute does not block T-Wave for whatever reason, so that obviously was not helpful. And uh, give me either one of those things not being the case, curse you Gen 1 mechanics, I am in total control here. But given me both of those things, I am commenced to almost a sense of PP stall. Um, I love how he still gets a crit through a t I guess I just got a crit too through T-Wave. Um, considering speed is uh, the crit factor, I suppose. Um, cool, I get some Psychic Hacks, that's nice. I mean, eventually I can take care of these things, but PP is all gonna be- See? Right there, it just said Poison when he comes in. So, if it was Toxic, I have no problem, because he can't kill- He can't kill my Alakazam. With the rest of his team, he can't. Persian can come in, and it can break my sub, but then I kill it. So, he, he, he literally cannot touch Zam. Zam is God Mode in Gen 1, but there's nothing I can do to his Zam either, because Toxic is jank. 
Uh, unless I just get mad freaking Psychic Hacks, which I'm doing right now. Um, I pick that turn that hopefully he's going to switch out. I know I can survive one hit. Here's my chance to get a crit. And I don't get it. If I had Hyper Beam, I would have actually taken it out. But I don't carry Hyper... Or, I do carry Hyper Beam. I just didn't go for it on that specific turn. Um, which, in hindsight, I probably should have. But I didn't. So that, that was my chance to kill his Zam. And uh, it doesn't quite work. I do switch out here, predicting a recover. And I get out my chance to Tauros. And I do kill his Starmie. So despite all that bad stuff, I did force myself up a chance here with his Alakazam taking some big damage, his Starmie going down, his Persian, if his Persian comes in, his Persian is dead. So it's really just this Zam versus this Zam, and unfortunately I am commenced to force to PP stall because of the T-Wave and Toxic being retarded, and uh, there's just not much I can do about that. He's going to spam Reflex, I'm going to spam Toxics. He has more PP, I do have a sub up. And I'm T-Waved, so maybe I can, like, get T-Waved a lot. Or, you know, never get T-Waved ever again for the rest of the game. Look at this, guys. Like, if I try this earlier in the match, it... no way! No way! But now I actually want to get fully paralyzed, and it doesn't happen once! Unbelievable! I mean, I would need it to happen a lot in order to gain the entire PP advantage. Um, so, you know, what? whatever. I still have the potential ability to switch out and save two PP that way, one by the switching turn and two by switching back. So I guess I could spam that a ton, but I don't really want to waste my sub just yet, so I'm not quite going for it. I suppose I probably could have. Um, it wouldn't really have been a big enough deal in the end. See, eventually I start trying to do it, and uh, you know, it's not really going to make up enough of a difference at the end of the day. I'm going to keep trying it a few times here and there. But unfortunately, Tauros is just slower than both Persian and Alakazam. So Tauros, you had your chance, man, and you just, you didn't cut it. You didn't cut it. Fast pokes are supposed to get crits every single time, and you didn't do it. So, bleh. Should have went Hyper Beam, I guess. But, I, I don't know. Because it, if it didn't, if Hyper Beam didn't kill, Tauros is dead. I guess that's really what I was afraid of. But if it did kill, then I win the game. I, I guess I didn't really take it into factor yet. Uh, at that time, I still didn't... Did I, was Alakazam t wave at that time? Yeah, he was, so... I don't really know, but, uh... I also had to go... Where did I have to go? I had to go to work or something, so we don't finish the entire PP stall here. Um, I end up making a risky switch out to Tauros at some point, trying to keep wasting 2 PP of his stuff. Um, considering my chance of him not using Psychic on that particular turn that happens, which is coming up in just a couple of turns is uh, dramatically high, I, uh, I didn't pull it off, so, because yeah, we're both at full HP, I have a sub, and right there I predicted him to switch to something else, predicting Alakazam to come back in like I had done four different times, and uh, he didn't go for it, that was my chance, I tried to make it happen, but uh, that's going to end the PP stall, as at this point I'm literally just, I'm just done, there's no point in bothering, because I'm never getting T-Wave, I can't switch out to lose PP anymore either, so that's just going to do it guys, I hope you enjoyed Gen 1, I was unaware of its mechanics, which ended up being my downfall, I just needed one of the mechanics to be stupid, not all of them, but uh, or just one of them to not be, but so be it, thanks for watching guys, take it easy, catch you later, peace.